Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another Tarantine Guide with Lindsay. So today um, we're doing Garvani, which is a very interesting faction for me because I am a usually very militaristic, uh, heavy forward um, guy when it comes to play, playing this game. And it doesn't mean that I, we won't be doing a lot of fighting, but there is a unique faction with the goals is that you have uh, share same blood, which means that you can technically speaking um, Oh, they actually would want peace. You can actually get them to join your confederation. Now, um, we first thing we want to do is capture uh, Bib Recte as fast as possible. And to do so, um, we're going to move this guy over there and the king over here. Uh, they're the same faction, so we we'll just throw everything we have at the king. Uh, no, wait. Yeah, on that guy, and we'll recruit on the king. Yeah, there you go. We'll recruit four Celtic Warriors. You can recruit Levy Freeman, whatever you want. Celtic Warriors are a decent uh, pick. Um, only four of us, that's the recruitment number. Um, second thing you want to do is get yourself a Craftsman's Hut. And that is what you're going to manage to build. You'd want to build this eventually, but at the moment that's what you need. Now, since you're getting that and you don't have food, you gain food from these guys down here, the Vivisci. And why? Because they are our next target after we've captured the break day. Um, after we capture um, the break day, will be in a decent place. And then the reason why we need this is to just completely set this, set, settle this region. They are our allies, so it's okay. Second thing, of course, you want uh, military, and we'll go with military. This is a decent army, but if you do want, you will eventually be able to recruit some more troops that way. Okay, that's the first uh, turn. Now, it's important to notice that the uh, Arveni, they have two special abilities. One is that they get extra wealth from industry, which is great, because as you saw, we have a gold uh, mine in our first town. And then you get uh, tribal diplomatic bonuses, means that all tribal factions will have extra, uh, they like you a little bit extra more. Uh, as far as beyond that, then a generic faction for the Gallic tribes is they get 20 melee for their cav and they get two public order from their neighbor neighboring factions as long as they are in oh, fighting. So if you have a lot of border wars, it's quite encouraged. So we'll throw those troops in there, we'll run back here and we'll recruit another four. Meanwhile, you come down this way and you attack Bibracte uh, and... We will siege it. Now, they should not attack us. They might. And if they do, we'll just retreat and come back next turn when we have more troops. But as you see, the balance of power is in our favor. And we will just continue siege. The reason I'm putting in uh, the army there is to stop them from recruiting any more troops than they should. And in this case, we end turn. It's quite easy in the start in terms, till you meet Rome, you're absolutely fine. You, what you need to do is secure as much of these regions as possible. And to do that, you need to grow as fast as possible by doing the least amount of military actions possible. Sieging is a military action, but hopefully this will fall. Why do you want least military actions as possible? Because you want them to like you and then to eventually confederate with you. They didn't attack because of those extra troops you recruited before now uh someone leveled up okay uh the scout Wait, where is he hi boy how are you you live to serve so he has ooh, he has actually really good traits to place of course we always get supplier because we want replenishment we've unlocked our military war expertise and we want headhunt this is really easy to get and headhunt will unlock a very important building which is the bronze workshop you want the bronze forge which gives you the chosen swordsman the chosen swordsman are going to be the backbone of your army in this game now we're going to recruit uh, uh okay let's see yeah we can get many four of these guys and uh, if we see the here the balance of power is uh in our favor we don't really care about this army it's all very easily replaceable and we'll auto resolve it and do aggressive stance and this is ours uh, we only lost the levy freeman again it's not much of a loss and we occupied uh Bibrak day and finished the idui um the good thing about this is they already have a craftsman house but we don't need it since we are building it in the other side so we'll destroy that and gain some money from it 
we also getting more money as we're going along now as this happened we need to prepare for war with these guys and then we'll be in a decent position so let's also check uh, who we can trade with. We can trade with Masilla, and welcome. at this point uh, we should, settle. because that gives us a little bit with more gold words, and you bring you know, joy a little to bit better in terms of our relationship. So these guys, we do have need of they talk. want to trade? They are My asking. people can only dream of wealth like yours. Non-aggression pact, uh, non-aggression pact with these guys. Welcome Again, you don't talk. normally see me uh, doing these the demands, but um you'll eventually realize why i'm doing this these guys the uh carnute i don't like us very much so we might attack them eventually and they are boarding there yeah they're in Celtica, so we might want to kill them and the nemetes let's see they are not wisdom. yet liking us but, but we can do this All so we're doing a little bit of a diplomatic everyone keeps asking for it so we'll uh I'll, you know i'll try to satisfy everyone in that regard so after this guy heals up, which is going to take a couple of turns, um, of course we get him cunning. Um, we'll we we'll either go capture Cenabom, uh, Cena, yeah, Cenabom, or else we'll come down here and destroy this settlement. But that's where we're getting our food at the moment, so we should perhaps take a little bit of a break. As we say that, we enter, and of course, Rome is going to be the biggest problem that you're going to face eventually. But if you manage to get chosen swords, uh, and eventually the Oatsworn, Rome will not be that much of a problem. 99% of the percent, they will be focused on um, Carthage by the time you've finished uh, confederating. And okay, they we are will make fighting. Your homes a Despoil your women, oh, they're attacking your us. Children, Perfect. So it was either one of them is going to attack graves. us, but that's absolutely fine. Uh, they have the Sassati and Captabili, I believe these down here. So it's okay. We call Pictones and Pictones join us. Because with the Pictones, we're way stronger than them. His allies didn't join him, and that's absolutely fine. Now, what do we build here? We build a enclosed land because we need food. Um, this place is healing there. We have pretty much trade agreements, uh, non negation agreements with all of them, so we're absolutely fine. We'll move down here, we'll move you here, and this army is going to be more than enough to deal with everything they have to offer. Um, he does have an army, but it's nothing that big, and he w uh, the Pictonace will send in a few troops. So I'm going to uh, move him here and. Army sabotage, sabotage supplies. Hopefully he levels up from that. Uh, sabotage failed. Okay, at least he escaped, so that's good. We don't have food right now, but then we'll get some food from the enclosed land, which uh, you can build up for your cavalry and rec recruitment of noble horse, which you also very need because your cavalry is very strong with this faction. So we're gonna get our horses from there eventually. And this is all just forward thinking and trying to make sure that you are set up and ready to go. Um, there will be a rebellion here eventually, but as you can see, it's going to take a while. So you're in a good place. It's not, it, I mean, this is classified as a very hard start, but it's not that hard if you take your time and you spam units, cause that way you will be absolutely fine. Oh, well, we have, uh, we have a healthy boy. Oh, it looks Ready like. So this army is intact. We're gonna go oh, over to the river, and you, meanwhile, are actually healing up. This army over here is building up, but they are all damaged because they. Uh, oh, yeah, they're damaged because they were getting hungry. So we'll just keep doing that, and the settlement has. Okay. Uh, he's building up that, so we'll let him build that up, is which is perfect. And not three of those. There you go. That's what we can build. We are testing our funds right now, but we have, you know, two decent armies, and we'll be able to take that easily next turn. Uh, you, you're recovering. Again, if you lose this army, it's not a big deal, because after this, you've pretty much secured yourself as much land as possible. Uh, Lemonium is building his army as well, and after that, we need to try and make sure that one of these, so either Lemonium or Nam Neto, I'm pronouncing these so wrong, actually confederate with you. So with these three armies, we should be able to take that out. 
really easily. And okay, he was exposed, that's fine. The Lugios. And we're researching Headhunt already. We are, I would like to remind you already, on turn six. It is a you know, it's not as bombastic as the other ones, especially as Rome, you know, completing the entire peninsula in 20 turns pretty much. Uh, but yeah, so uh, we're still stealing food. That's absolutely fine. Now, there are two things we can do. We can either attack this army outside and drag the entire army that he has here outside. Or we can siege the settlement with two armies and hopefully over the end turn this guy joins us. Um, just build siege equipment. Uh, come on, what? Um, he doesn't have that much troops. We have more territories than him, and so that's fine. The only problem is there's two uh, oak sworn uh, units, but again, we'll have more troops. So continue siege. Ideally, this army is going to be key. If it comes close, our outer resolve power is going to be absolutely per in very, very important. Okay, I'm going to move you here, forced march, which is not ideal. Um, but it will be fine because if they attack us now we have a little bit better of a chance so continue siege and again you saw the difference that just little siege uh, equipment did um, meanwhile you will uh, yeah you'll keep doing that no I said continue siege oh my god so you you are still deployed fantastic okay and then. oh man The complications they might sell you out again if they do we are in a bit of a problem because these guys cannot retreat but otherwise we should be fine uh did they sell you out did they sell you out you they want an aggression plan no. okay permagon tillis um why did you move okay they didn't move their army no one moved their army okay well, I guess. Uh, oh, where is the plague? Uh, he has the plague. Wait. The settlement has the plague. Mighty warriors of Gaul. Oh, come on. Uh, interrupts replenishment growths. The spread of disease. All right. Uh, do we have the plague? Uh, small skirmishes during the week. The siege will cause attrition. What do you mean? There? If he has the plague, I'm just gonna run away. <laughs> Break siege, run away. It says he has, but I don't know. Uh, this is Rome. <laughs> it just gives you complications that you don't, you're not entirely sure about. Um, uh, yeah, right. just and break siege. Is there nothing else? Okay. Honor the gods and your ancestors. Get over the bridge. You get over the bridge, and you're fine. You gain another in that, and that's okay. Ready for orders. Honor you have to be as flexible as possible, I guess. But them having the plague, I, I, I don't see the impact of the plague on them, which doesn't make sense because if they do have it, they have it, and that's it. It's just confusing. But I'd rather not get my armies infected because then I'll have to re record all of this and just hope they don't get the plague. But again, this is stuff that happens. This is Rome, too. This is all the fun <laughs> you get in this playing this game. Okay. His army is there. Okay. Oh, good. Good. He fought that army and the hat hunters. Who? I have the plague. Thirsty for battle, ready oh, for come on. He doesn't have the plague, but I caught the plague. All right. Lovely. But at least his army is wound wounded now. Um, continue siege. Besieging settlement. And we have, you just have to do it now because we don't have an option. I have no idea what what happened over here, but I guess uh, we win. Oh boy! Uh, again, the game bugged out. It it said that we had the plague, but then they had the plague. 
but now we just won this and our army is intact. We just occupy and both of our armies are in with the plague. The king has leveled up and in this case we have gained a lot of money. Now in this scenario you are just not going to have a good time. You get that, uh, you go there. Right. Um, so let's do this. You all merge. You all merge. Because now we don't need that much of an army anymore. So one of them needs to go, mostly for financial reasons. Um, no, wait. We'll do this. And I believe this is enough. Wait. One more. One more. Uh, yeah. That's fine. And you can go. Oh, wait, I didn't want to merge. I want you to be disbanded and go home. First and you just hold camp here. The plague will run out in two turns. Uh, one turn already has passed, and that's fine. So, Brian Distiller, no, we want wood, uh, Woodworker because then we want the Ballista and the Galak Hunters, which we want to recruit. And it's absolutely fine. Oh, we already have the Bronze Workshop here. So we actually we leave it because that gives you a little bit from industry and that is something else we want. We have the food because we have the fisherman's hut and we'll eventually upgrade fortified settlement. Now, what do we want? Well, we want the Tolosa and that will eventually lead us to Masilla, but that's fine. So we've defeated those armies and now this is where we check who we can make an alliance with. Uh, joint confederation, nope. But trade agreement, no. Eh, they don't like us that much. All right, uh, you guys, you're too far away. Okay, so Pictonish really like us because they lost Welcome the war. The Why aren't they joining us? Good you sometimes need to offer them a what little bit of us? money. So, let's try this again. Welcome Join confederation the payments, bread. offer Let payments. Us break bread and drink. Yeah. Words pass our lips. No, they don't. My like people that. No problem. Such a thing. And the turn. gods would rightly curse us. Oh, of course they would. <laughs> At this point, it's just eliminate the weaker factions down here. I mean, I say weaker, you still need to rebuild that army, but in this case, we have to disband it because of the plague. Just you'll be able to get enough gold. You have two large walled settlements, and you have a place where to start basically because these guys can support a decent economy and you have gold from Namasos. Um, this region if you get them involved will get you a lot of resources um, it's, it's a decent area to start off you protect it from one side and from pretty much there's lots of different areas that defend you Okay, this should be over within a turn. I'm not sure how long that will take. Meanwhile, um, it's time to build up. So we either build up the trenches here, which gives us how much more gold? Not much more, but it takes food. I prefer doing this and upgrading that. Um, headhunt is one turn away, and I believe we are in turn nine. So in turn 10, you have headhunt, and we should have enough gold next turn to start upgrading this instantly you do actually will not so let's do that let's wait uh this is 2600 this is 2700 uh yeah let's wait and not build anything or we need emergency measures which is this okay we'll get that after hat hunt and yeah short and sweet video pain in the ass over here i i again i plan to take to lows as well in the first 10 turns but because of this bug that happened where the uh, the plague came and he didn't move his army in. Because if he moved, uh, Lemonio moved his army in the Pictones, I would have been able to take that uh, two turns earlier, run up here, take this, and then, you know, would have ended the, the turn there. Um, what you can do from this uh, position, uh, well, again, you don't really want to piss off your neighbors up here because you want them ideally to join you through confederation and joining other armies but you have all of france to take and france oh sorry all of uh, spain to take 
and Spain is a really rich region, really easily defended and really well easily to hold. So two turns passed, this army is recovering and we got our headhunt ability. Second ability we do is we get this for the Celtic Ballista which we will need later on. We will need this and we are just shy a couple of gold from that so we will get more food. You know, the public order issues will be solved. Um, Wait, actually, instead of just getting more food, can we build horses? Yes, we can. So let's build the horses up here and end the turn as well. Uh, and turn. And this is the first 10 turns with Averni. Um, not that difficult to achieve this result, as you can see. It is based on a lot of random events. You're going to be playing a lot with diplomacy. I didn't attack my ally for once, so maybe perhaps the guys who keep telling me, dude, don't attack your allies, especially in the Carthage video. Um, so yeah, let me know if you enjoyed this. I hope you did. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's fun for me as well doing these, and Arveni was one I was fearing. This is my third take, just to be clear. Um, the first time I accidentally forgot half my army in my settlement, uh, the second Aquitania is Galicia. Aquitania is here, so it will rebel either here or here. But this is well defended. As yeah, it has nine. It's it's alright to defend against the initial, um, and this is fine as well. You'll deal with that. You come back up here. You deal with the um, public order issues up here, and, and you just solidify yourself. Keep in mind the Pictones will also defend you a bit from the public order issues that will happen. So, as I was saying, yeah, it's my third time, you know, I've, I forgot half of my army, basically I recruited the army inside Nemesis instead of going to the edge of the border like I did in, I show you here. Uh, the second time I got attacked by Toros at the same time as the, I for, already forgot that, forgot what they were called, uh, wait, the Vivishi, uh, and they destroyed me and it was just, just absolute chaos. Um, so yeah. Hope you enjoyed this. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this. Um, I'll be branching out from Total, uh, from Total War Room 2. I'll do other Total War videos and Total War games. I'll start doing Warhammer and Attila as well soon. Maybe even Shogun if you guys are interested in that. And how I deal with certain factions there or the multiplayer of those games or even just you know the campaigns. I stream Warhammer a lot and you guys seem to enjoy that. And it's quite fun. But apart from that, I'm also going to, I found a re really good game recently, uh, Gladius, and I'm going to be streaming that uh, or even uploading videos on it because it's quite fun. It's a 4x game with Warhammer 40k uh, and I'm a Warhammer fanboy, so it's, it's really good fun and it's really difficult. Uh, if you want to check it out, it's currently on sale on Steam. I think it's $12, 12 euros. Yeah, I know it doesn't translate, but there you go. Uh, different regions different prices um yeah i think that's it thanks for watching guys and stay safe out there see you tomorrow bye